Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and I've been busy making samples for my stencil class at Stamp Away in August. So I discovered this hack to use a template with the stencils when you don't have a stamp to help with the stamp alignment. And you'll see what I mean as I show you the stencils. So here is the die, and again, it's got the um, outline of the balloons. And then the stencil has four, um, four different stencils that go with the set. So what I do is I line my white cardstock up there, and then I've also aligned the base leaf with the base blooms, and then you can figure out where it goes, but you still have those two extra blooms at the right you have to make room for. So what I ended up doing was die cutting a template, and you can see here I've got it attached on my white cardstock base, and I'm aligning the stencil up here, and then we'll go ahead and proceed to um, add the base layer of the leaves. And once you've got that on there, it's really easy to see where the rest of the stencils need to align. So again, I'm just going to ink blend here and just kind of add the color. And again, you should see a red subscribe box at the lower right section of your screen. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I'm a big Alta New fan, um, like to share tips when I discover them. And as you can see, I've removed the stencil and the template. And now I can move on with the next layer of the leaves by aligning the stencil. So then we'll go to a little bit darker, darker green. So again, I'm just, I'm just inking away. I love to ink blend. I just have so much fun using the different families of colors. So I've obviously got the base layer of the blooms on here, and now I'm matching up that next section. What I love about the Alta New stencils is they often include an outline um, so that when you're lining up these center sections of the stencils, it's really easy to see where you need to be. So again, I'm just going to continue um, stenciling and inking and um, adding the color here until we've got my blooms all done. So now we're going to that next, next center piece. So much detail in these stencils. I don't know how Altenew does it, but they just absolutely create beautiful stencils. So again, I'm adding that next layer. And you can see here, I decided to color the, uh, the two blooms in two different colors rather than, um, than just using a single color. So again, I've got a, I'm kind of rotating the stencil a little bit to line up that, um, that center there. And then I've got one more centerpiece, which I'm going to do in a dark gray. And you can see I decided to protect my base by adding another piece of the um, purple satin masking tape from Altenew. So again, here's my centers, and we'll go ahead and color those in gray. So I'm not going to show you completion of the complete card, but I am going to show you obviously the, the stencil section because what I really wanted to share with you today was, you know, how can you line up um, stencils when, you know, and get them centered on your A2 card base when you don't have the dies to guide you. So again, this is a great way um, to be able to align it up just by using the coordinating die and creating a, a template. So again, I'm almost done here. And you'll have to watch my post here. I'll be posting the completed card at some point. So again, today was just sharing the sharing the stencil hack. And you can see there it matched up just perfectly by using that template. So again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Blogger. Would love to have you subscribe. Have a great day.